this video we're going to look at pressure. Pressure is the relationship between the force applied and the contact area between two objects. If this man was to go out and walk in the snow, it would be much more suitable for him to wear skis than to go on a pogo stick. The reason is, whenever he stands on the skis, the skis, his weight, the downward force, is spread out over a larger area. In other words, there's less pressure on the snow, so he doesn't sink down as far. Whereas on a pogo, pogo stick, um, whenever he stands on it, his weight, the downward force, well, it's concentrated on a very small area. So he's going to sink down into the snow because there's a high pressure, a very high pressure. Okay, so pressure is calculated uh, by d uh, dividing the force by the area. So pressure is equal to force divided by area. And if you look at this triangle, you may have seen these on speed, distance, time, or density. If you cover up the P, you've got force over area. So force divided by area. Next, the force is equal to pressure times area. So if you cover up, cover up the F, pressure times area would give you the force. And finally, the area, if you cover up the A, you've got force divided by pressure. So area is equal to force divided by, air, uh, force divided by pressure. Pressure is measured in newtons per meter squared or newtons per centimeter squared, depending on uh, what the sort of the context is of the question. The force will be measured in newtons, and the area is usually measured in meter squared or centimeter squared. And it's also useful to know that one meter squared is equal to ten thousand centimeter squared. Um, you quite often will have to convert between meter squared and centimeter squared, and it's useful to know that one meter squared is ten thousand centimeter squared. So pressure is equal to force divided by area. Okay, let's have a look at three exam questions. So firstly, a crate is placed on the floor. So this crate is placed on the floor. The crate exerts a force of three thousand five hundred newtons on the floor. The area of the crate that's in contact with the floor is 5 meters squared. Find the pressure exerted by the crate on the floor. So pressure, well the pressure is equal to force divided by area. So the pressure will equal the force, which is 3,500, divided by the area, which is 5, and that's going to give us 700. And the units for the force will be newtons per meter squared. And that's it. So the pressure that this crate exerts on the floor is 700 newtons per meter squared. Next. So our second question says a box exerts a force of 90 newtons on a table. The pressure on the table is 1,500 newtons per meter squared. Calculate the area in centimeters squared of the box that is in contact with the table. So then in this question we're trying to find the area. So the area is equal to the force divided by the pressure. So the force is going to be equal to 90, and the pressure is equal to 1,500. And whenever we do 90 divided by 1,500, we get that's equal to 0.06, so 0.06. Now, in terms of our units here for our area, if you notice that the, uh, the force was in newtons and the pressure was in newtons per meter squared, so that's going to be in meters squared. Now our question asks us for the area in centimetres squared. So one metre squared is equal to 10,000 centimetres squared. So what we need to do is to change this from metres into centimetres squared, metres squared into centimetres squared, we need to times it by 10,000. So 0 0.06 times by 10,000 will give us, whenever we times it by 10,000, that will give us 600. So the answer is 600 centimetres squared. And that's it. And our last question. The cylinder below is placed on a table. The pressure exerted on the table by the cylinder is 1,500 newtons per meter squared. Work out the force exerted by the cylinder on the table. So in this question, we're trying to find out the force. So force, well, force is equal to pressure times area. Pressure times area. So the force is equal to, well, the pressure is 1,500 and that's newtons, newtons per meter squared, times by, now because we're working in newtons per meter squared, we want the area in meters squared. Now in this question, you can see we weren't actually given the area, but we've been given a picture of the cylinder. So the area, well, if it's placed on, the, on a table, if it's gonna be placed flat on the table, the area is gonna be the area of the base of the cylinder. So we wanna find this area. So as you know, it's a circle, so it's gonna be the area, it's equal to pi r squared. So we're gonna do pi, times the radius, which is seven. You can see from the top at seven, so seven across there, so seven squared. And pi times seven squared, well pi times seven squared is equal to 49 pi or 
153.93804 centimeters squared. Now remember that centimeter squared. Because our pressure is in meters squared, we're gonna to need to convert this centimeter squared into meters squared. So let's divide this by, remember it was 10,000, one, uh, one meter squared is equal to 10,000 centimeters squared. So if we divide this by 10,000, we'll get it into meters squared. So divide by 10,000 will give us 0.01539384 meters squared. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna put that into our formula uh, that the force is equal to 1,500 times by 0.0153 and so on. So we'll times that by 1,500 and we've got an answer off the force is equal to 23.1 newtons. That's it. So the force exerted on uh, by the cylinder on the table is 23.1 newtons. And that's it.